Have any of you ever wondered why there's AviTab in my content, but not in your plane in the Magnite 787? Welcome back to another video today. Um, today we're going to have a very brief look at the new addition, relatively new, of the AviTab integration tablet. As you can see here, it is looking very beautiful. And subsequently, you can flip it, although it does go slightly out the window. Uh, it's a little bug that they still haven't fixed that you can put charts in this orientation. So let me demonstrate with an approach plate here why you'd want the horizontal orientation, as you can see here. So you can just flip it over. It is very useful, and that's the reason why you can put it this way up. So there you go, you can have a look. This is ILS 25 left approach into KLX, and you can see it does work very well in that orientation. It works on the right as well if you're co-pilot, which is very cool. But anyway, how on earth are you meant to get this tablet into the plane? Well, first step, update the plane. Make sure it's it was introduced in about, the version was like 1.7.3, but make sure on 1.8 or above. You can get that by downloading it from the store where you got it from, and then if you want to, just update it via Skunkcrafts. Right, so there you go, you can see it's there, but funny enough, it is not enabled by default. So come down here, when you completely come dark, briefly power up the aircraft like this. So it'll be like this, uh, switch on the EFB, and then come down here, settings, and then you'll see there's a page here, but no, go to the next page. Here you go. It will be like this. As you can see, there's no AviTab on each side, and simply enable it. Make sure, of course, you do have AviTab a plugin installed. So there you have it, and it should all work brilliantly. So there you go. I hope you did enjoy this very short video. Please do like and subscribe if you want more of this. Thanks for watching.